Hello everyone. Today we're visiting local nursery in Clearwater, Florida, ran by David, my good friend. Hello David. Hi. And uh, David will show us around, tell us a little bit about the business he's running and what he has in stock. And this is the place where I personally come and buy my trees from high quality trees that I definitely recommend. Okay, David, why don't you show us around? Tell okay, us what you have. Good. Yeah, these are um, uh, mango trees, uh, 25, uh, actually 27 and a half gallons. I call them a 25 gallon. Uh, this one is an orange essence that's uh, one of the more rare varieties. Um, uh huh. Very nice. You've got a juicy peach. Uh, this one is uh, not in very good shape, but uh, down here we got uh, Atamoya. Oh, uh, which one is it? These uh, three I've uh, got. This is a Priestly. Oh. Uh, this is a uh, Geffner. Geffner, okay. And this is a Lisa. Mm -hmm. Very nice uh, size trees. Yeah, they're uh, Very good. And uh, get one here got it even got a little. Oh, wow. On it. There's a fruit there hanging. Yeah. This one is, uh, it looks like a Geffner, right? Yeah, that's Geffner. Uh huh. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Sapodillo. Uh, oh. Which one is it? Yeah, Silas Woods. Uh -huh. uh, uh, dwarf tree ever bearing. Uh -huh. um, here we've got some small uh, uh, Jabota Caba. Yes. And uh, nice little strawberry trees that my good friend uh -huh. Ivan brought me. It didn't seem to suffer from cold we just had. Did you protect no, them? I, well, I, I took them inside. Okay. Uh, I took yeah. those and uh, yeah. um, the uh, sour sop and uh, a few other yeah. plants. Yeah, because I was just going to say, mine did, did, doesn't look that good, yeah. <laughs> the ones they grow. Yeah, they, uh, they, they were inside the cottage here. Okay. Um, very nice. And we've got uh, there's some so small sour sop back here. Uh -huh. um, papaya. Papaya. Uh huh. Um, Malay nice. apple. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, loquat. Loquat or Japanese plum. Right? Uh huh. And uh, some different varieties of figs. A cherry of the Rio Grande and some nice cherries of the Rio Grande. Uh huh. Hello. Um, Hello. I guess I'll see you Okay. Awesome. Uh, this is my wife Patsy that does all oh, the hard nice work. Oh, nice to meet you, Patsy. <laughs> nice to meet uh, you as well. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having us. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's good. Yes, yes. Look at all the it's butterflies. Beautiful. Oh, wow. They're all yes. over the milkweed. Uh -huh. There were like five monarchs behind you when you were facing the other way. Yeah, here's, a, here's a caterpillar on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Wow. Yeah, we uh, we have a lot of a lot of people that buy uh, mm -hmm. milkweed from us, especially in the spring when the schools mm -hmm. are done, the the, the life cycle. Yeah. Lots more mangoes. More man nice uh, size too. Yeah, this is this is a Meyer lemon bush. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, lime oh, a good selection here. Lime quat, which is a cross between a key lime and a kumquat. Mm -hmm. Uh, some orange trees and, and uh, uh, tangerines. Mm -hmm. uh, Very nice. The peanut butter trees. Yes. Which, uh, yes. Are those pretty are... popular. I, I sell quite yeah. a few of those. A little yep. have a little fruit on them that tastes like uh, creamy peanut butter. Yeah. I know. I bought a tree from you, yeah. and it's doing great. And a few landscaping type of plants mm -hmm. around, but mostly, mostly fruit trees. Uh, uh -huh. Again, more several different varieties of, of mangoes and uh, uh, yeah. avocados are up in, in the front. Although I've got I think three or four back here that I just uh, okay just potted up from. This is the Super Haas. Uh, mm -hmm. This is uh, Wurtz, which is a dwarf tree. Yep. 
So uh, which which some jack jackfruit, fruit. which jackfruit this is? So the golden pillow. Uh huh. Golden and pillow. That one and this one is uh, NS1. Mm -hmm. uh, David, I know you also grow things in the ground, right? Correct. Yes. So mm -hmm. let's see what you have grown. Okay. Sure. We have. Uh, see these much because the juvenile trees are very susceptible to fungus mm. so uh, the growers of people that graft and grow these uh, have s stopped mm. pretty much uh, working with this and they've gone to a, one that's a seedling of the dot and is very similar flavor wise it's called a phoenix mm -hmm. uh, and it's much uh, less susceptible to uh, the fungus. I think I saw that one uh, up front. Do you yeah, have, have them one, for sale, right? I have one left, I think. Okay. Uh, and how long had this tree had been in the ground? This tree, um, that was a 25 gallon size that uh, I believe we planted that about seven years ago. Yet I have a, a glen that's actually mm. in a 45 gallon container, and then, but it's oh, grown wow. into the ground. Oh, okay. But that also is a, is a good, uh, very mm. good condition tree. Yeah, I've heard good things about glen. So this one is, <laughs> is probably going to stay there now, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, Sapendilla. Have you got any fruit out of this one? Uh, yeah, we got actually got some some uh, bloom coming. Looks like all oh, right. nice. Um, so within another uh, sixty days, we'll have quite a bit of fruit on this tree. Oh, nice. And it's uh, it's sweet. I made the mistake of when I first tried this; they, they were green, and then they turned a bright red, and I thought they mm -hmm. were ripe. I tried them as sour as everything, and then about a week later they turned black and mm -hmm. uh, they were really sweet, really good yeah. fruit. Ice cream mango, which is already loaded with bloom, which is you know, really early. They, everything for the last mm -hmm. two or three years has been blooming early. Uh, last year we had these very strong winds in March. And February, March, and it blew all the bloom off of mangoes and avocados. Had a very slim crop. Mm -hmm. This is another glen. Uh, that tree last year we didn't get any fruit off of it because of the high wind. But on a normal year, we get about 150 fruit. It's, it's a very, very good mm -hmm. tree production. Uh, it's a very prolific. Sweet, no fiber. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend that one. Yeah. This is a Potomba, mm -hmm. uh, which is another fruit from South America, and the fruit tastes like apricot. Um, oh, really? I need to find me a place to plant mm -hmm. this because it's in a 45 gallon container, mm -hmm. but it has, has outgrown this and matures. So you plan on putting this in the ground? Pardon me? You plan on putting this yeah, one in the ground? Yeah, I, I want to find someplace. I'm, I'm running uh -huh. out of space. Yeah, <laughs> that's a common problem. How long have you been doing this? No. Uh, I guess you know, getting up close to 20 years now. I, I retired and sold off the assets of uh, my brokerage firm. 2003, and I guess it was maybe a couple of years after that that I, I started fooling around with the plants. Okay. Mostly out of boredom, you know, and, and mm -hmm. started as a hobby and uh, just to have something to do and it's turned into eight days a week. Uh, what are the most popular trees that you sell? I 
I'd say probably mango is uh, the most most popular one. You know, I have about I don't know maybe 20 different varieties or so, which is low. I, I, I normally have a lot more than that, but uh, unfortunately, my supplier um, that I get most of my trees from down close to Fort Myers off mm -hmm. Pine Island, and uh, he. Got wiped out with the, with the hurricane. Is having to start over. He tells me he hopes he's going to have some smaller plants available um, uh, in a couple of months. But mm -hmm. uh, um, it's, it's just said I fortunately I had a pretty good supply of plants, uh, especially the large mangoes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've still got probably 15 or so. Uh, the 25 gallon uh, size in, in different varieties that are uh, available. So just a reminder again, David is located in Clearwater, Florida. I will have his contact information uh, in the description for this video. And this is the place where I personally buy all of my trees, and they're high quality trees. Thank you, David. Right. Thank you, Ivan. Appreciate you coming okay. by again. Yep. Well, happy growing. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye.